close your eyes, and trying to find some pleasure in the breath. It can offer it to you. It's simply a matter of listening to the body, listening to your mind right now. What would please the mind to be with? What way of conceiving the body and the breath energy would be helpful right now? Because sometimes we come in to adjust the breath and we can't do it with a heavy hand. Of course, when you do something with a heavy hand, whatever you're doing is heavy. So it has to be light. Sometimes all you have to do is just think. May the breath go there and see what happens without trying to push it. And this way you learn to listen to what's actually going on and adjust things so that really, they really are pleasant to settle down with. Because the mind needs this place to rest. Because we have a lot of work to do. Our defilements are deeply rooted in the mind and they spread their influence in lots of directions. They're like these big vines that spread throughout the orchard. I had this one vine one time down near where Tun Skipside is at the moment. And no matter how much we cut it back, cut it back, it kept growing and growing and growing again. So finally one time we had a large group of visitors. We decided to tackle it. They dug it down and found this huge root ball, two or three feet across. And that was the end of the problem. So you can cut back the roots, cut back the plant, but you have to dig up the root if you want to be done with the problem. So what we're doing, we concentrate is basically symptom management. In psychology they talk about symptom management and then cure. Symptom management is when you basically get the patient to calm down and to be in the right mood to begin looking inside. So there are periods when you don't think at all, other periods when you have to think. So give the mind first a place to rest. So it's more in the mood to do the kind of thinking that needs to be done, because what we're doing is we're dealing with our defilements, many of which we identify very strongly with. And so much as if we're cutting ourselves out of our minds. And the mind is not going to be willing to do that unless it has a sense of real peace. So that it can see that these things really are causing the problems, and not just part of you that has to be expressed. So get the mind to be still, get the mind to be calm, rest it up, so be prepared for the real work that has to be done.